Well, I've been producing uh, the Native Nations program since the summer of 1995. Not maybe not the oldest running program on, at Metro East here, but it's uh, it's, it's one of the longest, and it's what's kept me going year after year. Over the years, we've had numbers of, of folks on here as far as the culture is concerned. And when we're talking about the issues, there's, there's always Native American issues. They've been, you know, in the background for so long that their, their culture has been has been really decimated. Uh, my connection with the Native Americans is, is one of justice. Uh, we always talk about, uh, you know, the the America, the land of the free, home of the brave, and you know, so much of that has not been for many of the peoples who this country was built upon. That is what has driven me to, to want to bring this information out. There's very little media that is providing uh, a window into the Native American uh, life and the Native American needs. Yeah, and I work for the Columbia River Indian Tribal Fishing. Uh, people still watch TV, you know, people still have that remote, and if it wasn't for that remote, you know, maybe it wouldn't be so important, but people, you know, get half a second of boredom and they're moving through the channels. And public access channels are right there. Uh, we can always use crew members. So we have crew members that have been with us for a long time, but uh, it's, a, it's quite often a, a, a program that can use uh, extra camera people or maybe a couple persons in the, in the control room. And uh, uh, you can get a hold of me at uh, Videoactive PDX. That's just like radioactive, only videoactive PDX at gmail.com. And uh, looking forward to hearing from you. <laughs>